Hey guys, uh, so we're going to add a few more elements to our um, HTML coding and so far I've just been uh, telling you guys one little tag at a time and uh, today I'm going to talk about the overall structure of an HTML page and the first thing that an HTML page should have uh, for what we need is a tag that tells us that this is an HTML document. So on top of the page what I want you to do is type in uh, the triangular brackets which are the starting and end markers and I want you to put in a explanation mark and then in capital letters D-O-C-T-Y-P-E HTML and what this does is it tells the web browser that it's an HTML document okay and then the next thing I want to do is again type uh, a, uh, a triangular bracket HTML close the bracket and this tells us that the HTML code starts here. Now you might say, well, why do we need two HTML tags? Well, the first one tells us that it's this is an HTML document. Uh, and the second tag tells us the coding, the HTML coding starts from this tag. So they mean two different things. I know you're probably going to say, oh, what's the... Uh, how can it be anything else? Well, that's just uh, how it is. Okay, you just have to type these two things in. All right. Um, the next thing you're going to type in is uh, bracket uh, head and then bracket slash head. So what you put within head and slash head are tags. Um, that will affect the whole document. So for example, if you want to change the font of the H1, the heading 1 tag, or the heading 2 tag, or you want to change the font of all the paragraphs, then there are things that you would put inside the head tag. All right, They will affect the whole document. Alright, the next thing you want to do is put in uh, the body tag. So you put in tag body. Alright, and what that does is that tells the browser where the body of your page is. Alright, so the body of the page starts from here and all the way down to the bottom of, my, of the coding we have done so far and uh, you might say well what's all this this wasn't there in the last tutorial oh uh, the thing is I added in a bit of uh, advertising from Google AdSense so that's the tag that you use to get that advertising uh, happening on your page later on we might do a separate tutorial on how to um, get the advertisement but right now let's just uh, ignore this code for now so at the end of all of my coding I'm gonna put in um, bracket uh, slash body so that indicates this is the end of the body of my document and then slash HTML means there's no more HTML coding after this now obviously you're gonna save this and when you refresh it on your page you would not see anything different at all right because we haven't added in any new content we've just added in uh, the proper structure of an HTML document alright so one of the things that we can do inside the head tag is we can put in a title of our page so Right now you can see that on the top of my um, window, 
the title of my webpage is just magicmonktutorials.com now you might want to have a different title compared to your URL so I'm gonna put in a bracket title and inside the title tag I'm gonna put in um, magic monk tutorials and then I might put in here tutorials for maths uh, IT uh, dance magic martial arts etc and then slash title now what that ha what that does is if you refresh your web page you will see that oh I gotta save changes first sorry save changes refresh your web page and you'll see that the top here the heading of this uh, sorry the title of this web page has just changed to whatever you have defined in the title tag so that's going to help uh, search engines pick up your website a bit easier if you have a good title okay so now that we have the title tag done um, I'm going to show you guys how to change the style of um, the tags we have on our on our website so uh, we're going to obviously going to go into this in a lot more detail later but again inside the head tag we have our title and we also have what we call um, style the style tag and the style tag what we're gonna put in as an attribute for the style tag is the type equals quotation text um, slash uh, CSS what this is saying is that the style that we're going to use is called um, cascading style sheets and that's just a function that most web browsers will support to uh, fancy up your website a little bit so don't worry uh, too much about that okay now notice how we have a body tag down below here now what we want to do is uh, change the background color of our website alright so uh, what I'm gonna do is inside the style tag between the uh, starting and closing tags I'm gonna put in a body and then one of these funny brackets which is above the uh, above this kind of bracket so it's next to my P key on the keyboard so just uh, be careful which bracket you type in there spotty and then the bracket thingy and then we're gonna put in a background color is uh, let's say uh, brown I know you're thinking why did we pick that color but most colors should work and notice how this the word color is spelled in the American way for those of you who are from Australia like I am or England or something now if you refresh your page you should see that the color of your web page has turned uh, brown which is uh, a little bit ugly so let's change that to um, white again actually I just want it to be something other than white so uh, let's just put in uh, green What about uh, it's no 
another color, orange. Alright, because I don't really want to... Orange? Orange is pretty good. Let's stick to that. Orange. Okay, the next thing we want to do is um, define a style for our P tag. So you can see that right now uh, in the in the text um, I have before the paragraph P and slash P. So if I define a style for P, I can put in here P has a uh, back, uh, let's say the color is uh, white. Let's just try that, see what happens. The color of everything inside my P tag is white. So let's save changes and refresh that on our page. And you see that all the text has turned white. So that's pretty cool. Uh, do I want my text to be white? Why not for now? Just to change it up a bit. Alright, um, next thing you'll see is that uh, actually let's just leave that for now for this tutorial. So I just want you to play with the colors for now. Alright, and uh, also you can see that we have h1, h2, h3 on our page so let's play with the colors of those tags so h2 um, is one of the headings and let's say I want to change the color of that to blue and see if that changes so you can see all of the titles that are heading to have changed to blue right so actually let's might as well define the h1 tag let's make the color of that um, uh, maybe I should have uh, decided this let's just say black for now I'm gonna get a list of colors for you guys later on so yeah, play with the colors and then come back for the next tutorial when you've done 